so here we go. We've got another 75 basis point uh, interest rate hike. And when we saw it coming, we knew that it's happening. Still, the stock market plummeted. It went all the way down. It wasn't fun to watch. So anyway, uh, so I saw um, Federal Chair uh, Jerome Powell speak i didn't i didn't watch the questionnaire because most of these questions are uh, you know pre-scripted questions and he already answered all of them when he talked so he said pretty much that there's another one coming in december he doesn't know if they can mellow out they have to wait for inflationary data to come in before they make any decisions of um, how much they're going to increase next time now this time was the fourth time that it's 75 basis point but um so there's more to come uh the 10-year treasury yield is at four percent and 24.20 percent and um so we'll, we'll find out we'll find out in december what's going on but just the increases uh, inflation is not going down as quickly as we hope for i mean it's going down but it's going down in baby steps and we need it to go down faster um, before the federal reserve um, decides to lower the percentage to increase the rates is going to be I think around 4% if I'm wrong correct me in the comments but I believe um, that's what I heard is for it has to be at 4% before the Federal Reserve is mellowing out a little bit but a healthy inflationary rate is 2% so we're they're aiming towards 2% eventually hopefully in two years so this will take a while but of course, the chances of a recession is much higher. So what does that mean, really? When the, when the Fed put all this additional money into the market, um, you know, they are money printing. They printed too much. And so now, because there's so much money in circulation, the money has less value. It's sad, but it's true. It has less value than it had before. And so now they're trying to take some of that money out. And uh, what happened with that is it'll, it'll eventually increase the value of the money that's in circulation. And so the reason why you're right now, everything costs so much is because the same goods the, the, that you pay with the same money, that money is not, it's an exchange deal. That money is not valued as high as it was before. And so of course you have to give more of it to you know get the same product. That's pretty much what it is. So. Um, so pretty much this is um, what I read. Higher interest rates leads to less money in circulation and therefore an increase in the value of money, resulting in lower levels of inflation. Recession are at 50%, pretty much we're gonna have one uh, if we're not already in a, in a recession. I believe we're already in a recession. But how severe this is going to be, well, we'll find out. But um, so some sectors do better doing or doing pretty well not better but they're doing pretty well during times like this the in, uh, increase in interest rates are actually good for some sectors like the banking sector so the banking sectors usually do pretty well um, and that includes companies like um, bank of america uh, and that's ticker symbol bac jp morgan gp pm jpm um, us bank corp USB and um, the healthcare care sector, of course, is doing really well because we need healthcare. I mean, we can't just stay away from healthcare. Um, and that includes uh, companies like CVS, you know. Um, then, of course, insurance companies do well. Um, and that would be including uh, companies like MetLife, MET, and uh, Allstate, ticker symbol ALL, United Health. UNH. Uh, so insurance companies make money with insurance premiums. Obviously, they've gone up lately, as you have noticed, and through the uh, return of investment. So they're investing their money, and whenever they need the cash, well, they get the you know dilute that investment. Um, so we know um, inflation has not been come down as quickly as we hoped for. And so yeah, the goal is to get inflation at two percent. Um, and if you remember in um, during the really horrible time in in March of 2020 uh, between March when everything plummeted and um, I don't know was it July or August um, when the market returned so fast uh, like companies like uh, uh, Clorox um, you know your uh, toilet paper companies and uh, and then of course um, Domino's Pizza they were like 
going crazy Peloton because gyms were closed, you couldn't work out. So uh, people bought Peloton bikes and now it's plummeting, you know, because we don't, they don't need it anymore. So, you know, of course. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's really interesting to see how all these companies did so well during that time. And that doesn't have to repeat itself. Obviously we're not being quarantined anymore, but it's just really interesting to see uh, how, how these companies did so well. So, so if you think about it, like it's consumers will cut down on luxury items. So, you know, they're not gonna buy jewelry. They're probably not gonna buy new cars. Um, they're not gonna buy if they don't need them. They're not going to buy um, you know, things that are just in the luxury department, uh, but they're gonna buy things that they need. Uh, like during 2020, Walmart did really well. So I don't think Walmart is gonna do bad during that time and during a recession. And I, I believe, um, you know, food stores will do really well. Uh, so I just realized one of the cashiers at Smith told me that Smith bought all the Albertsons. So um, I don't know what this will do to the stocks, but uh, I'm gonna have to check it out. And um, you know, you'll need your CVS, you need your pharmaceutical stuff. And you'll need um, just food items, you know, you will need food items. So um, think about what people still need during um, a recession and invest in that. And it doesn't have to be the same thing that happened last time. It can be something totally different, but it'll be interesting to see. Also, um, I want to tell you, this is not investment advice, okay? If you are not sure and uh, you don't want to lose your money, make sure you talk to an investment professional before you invest in anything. But, um, and they'll guide you to safe investments so you will not lose your money. And your money can, your stocks can still go down temporarily, but um, venture deal come up. So invest in companies that have good cash flow, invest in companies that have been around for a long time, don't invest in any of these penny stocks because those companies can go bye-bye. So <laughs> I hope you like this video. Anyway, and I will talk to you in the next video. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. This is Claudia, goodbye.